James Fairbanks, convicted of killing a sex offender and then later on told the media in a letter about it, was given a lofty sentence in Douglas County Court today. 40 to 70 years combined on two charges, including second degree murder. James Fairbanks will at least be spending the next two decades in prison after the 40 to 70 year sentence Wednesday for the murder of Matteo Condolucci. Fairbanks is credited with over 400 days served, and with Nebraska good time laws, he could serve as little as 20 years. You know, over the next 20 years, we don't expect him to die in, in prison, so uh, he will be able to get out. He'll be able to hopefully see his grandkids. Uh, his kids will be, you know, later on in years, but um, he does have something to look forward to. He's got some hope. The case is notable because several days after the murder, Fairbanks emailed Omaha Media, including 3 News Now, anonymously confessing. Condolucci was previously convicted of sex crimes towards children. And Fairbanks wrote in the email he didn't want it to happen again. The defense argued the letter showed he was taking accountability. So, you know, if you ask Mr. Fairbanks, I think uh, he would say, yeah, I, I probably could have taken a better course of action than proceeding over to the guy's house and, and confronting him. The prosecutor said it showed Fairbanks, who argued self-defense, plan to confront and shoot Condolucci. He wanted publicity. He wanted to take uh, justice into his own hands, and that's what he did. The case split Condolucci's kids with his daughter, Amanda Henry, saying she was raped by her father and wanted a light sentence. Wish the sentencing was a little less. Fairbanks also argued that he confronted Condolucci because he saw a playset in the backyard. The victim's son, Joseph Condolucci, told the courtroom that that was not his dad's idea, saying he didn't put those there. He didn't ask to put those there. I put those there for my child. Condolucci's daughter says the justice system did not punish her father enough. I honestly think if punishments for pedophiles were harsher, um, longer terms, this wouldn't have happened. The deputy county attorney Brenda Beadle says Nebraska does have tough laws, and the sentence shows people should not take the law into their own hands. I mean, if you can imagine the slippery slope that would occur if we allowed citizens to start deciding who gets to live and who doesn't based on what they've done. In Omaha, John Kipper, 3 News Now.